morning, everyone. I'm Tom Trin, Senior Application Engineer for Valent Corporation. Today, I will illustrate how to set up the Bear HMI X2 Base 7 to communicate to an Omron C series PLC such as CP1L, CJ, CS1, and many other C's O C series PLC. So what I have in front of you here is the development software called IX Developer. And I have a screen here, which is a demo screen, and I create an extra button. If I click on this button here, it will get me to another page, which is this page right here that I want to go over with you how to set it up. But first and foremost, you need to set up the controller, the settings, as well as the tags. So to do that, you click on the tags here. Um, I already created a controller under controller one, but if you set up already, you're gonna set up the uh, settings here. And you notice here that the communication mode need to be set up as ethernet instead of serial. The fins source address uh, need to be three. And the reason being because my HMI, the Bayer screen, is 192.168.250.3. So this is basically need to be the same as the last octet in your IP address. You also need to change the local UDP port to be 9600. The next thing is you click on the station and you make sure that this is the IP address of the PLC. In my case, the Omron CP1L-EL PLC that I have is 192.168.250.2. You also need to make sure the destination address, the FINS destination address, to be 2. This has to match what is the last octet of the PLC. So that's the basic setting that you need to set up. Then you click OK. Then you go to the tags tab, and this is where you will define all the tags. So right now, I have the lamp that I will be using on my page, as well as the switch. The address for that is W10.7. I also have a real data numeric entry, and I use data memory 100 for that. And the, uh, another numeric register that I'm using is called data underscore integer. And I'm using data memory 104 for that. Okay. This same tag data memory 104 is for the bar graph as well as the dial indicator. So let's go back to the page that I created. So what you see here is this uh, button here that I'm using. I am, let me go to the property tag to show you. Yeah, what happens is I group everything into this. Anyway, the lamp I show you here, the property tag is if I click on this, you see it feel Basically, the color blue, if the state of the lamp is zero, and it will be red when the state of the lamp is one. Okay, so that's how you set it up for the lamp. For the real numeric entry, you uh, you specify the tags right here to be data, which I defined already in the tag, okay, which is here. See, and the data means I'm using data memory 100. Going back for this data integer uh, or numeric entry, I'm using the tag called data underscore integer. And one more time, going back to the tag, you will see that the data integer is using data memory 104. Okay. Now. Also, the bar graph is using the same tag, which is data underscore integer. 
The Dow indicator is the same way. The tag is data and it's called integer. So as I input the value into this register here in this numeric data numeric entry, you will see the bar graph changing. So as the Dow indicator. So I, I already downloaded this into the screen. Another beauty on the Bayer screen that you can use the VNC uh, to display it. So I'm going to go ahead and um, open up my VNC. And the utility, the VNC viewer here, what I want to connect is 192.168.250.3, which is my HMI. I'm going to go ahead and connect it now. And voila. So what I'm seeing is actually what's on the screen right now. I'm going to show you also the this one so you can see the value as I'm changing it within the PLC. So here we go. The W10.07 is basically the lamp and also the button here. So if I click on this button, you will see that it will change the color. The lamp will be from blue to red. Let's do that right now. Here we go. And you notice in here, the bit W10.07 is one. I'm going to click it again. And voila, it turns off. So now it's zero. This data numeric register for the real right now is 19.3. I'm going to change that value to, let's say, 90.5. As soon as I click enter here, that value will be showing up right here. Here we go. So now the PLC has that value. I'm going to, uh, right now, my bar graph is at 80. So as my Dow indicator, I'm going to change this to a value, let's say 20. As soon as I click enter, it will show 20 here. And also the bar graph now is at 20. So as the Dow indicator. So that's how you set up the Bayer HMI X2 base 7 to communicate to an Omron C series PLC. If you have any questions, please call the number below and thank you for watching.